all of the manufacturers really are bringing out their production cars that have been electrified or are fully electric for the world to finally see them. They've talked about it for so long. They've been trying to catch up with Tesla for so long, but now we get to see the evidence of what they've produced and all the many different directions they're taking, be it sports cars, be it SUVs, be it family cars. We finally see, get to see them putting their money where their mouth is. Yeah, I think we now finally get to find out if consumers really want to buy electric cars. There are, of course, pushes and there are pulls. You know, the legislators are really putting the pressure on now to cut down on emissions and to force people into these cars. And of course, on the other side, there are incentives to go out and buy them. A lot of governments around Europe offering uh, a discount if you buy an electric car. But what we'll really find out is if the, the small percentage of people who, if you take an average across Europe, are buying these cars now, whether that can be grown to a much more substantial and therefore impactful uh, amount of new car sales. It's another problem that the car industry doesn't need. Uh, of course, it wants to do the right thing. It wants to build the cars that people want to buy. But absolutely, the pressure really is coming more from legislators than consumers at the moment. And they are having to spend tens of billions of dollars in order to develop these cars that they're not 100% certain that people do want to buy. Of course, all their profits, they're generated by traditional engined vehicles. They, but they know they have to make this leap. And they're making this transition during a period where they have hundreds of other problems impacting them at the same time and they're costly problems so they face a real challenge for their future.